Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. And for all of you that haven't subscribed yet, it would take you a second and it would be much appreciated. Now what I want to talk to you about today is, and this is quite a quick one, uh, as we've been talking about um, upscaling, DPI, all that kind of thing, and the confusion that people have with it, and understandably so, because everybody has an opinion, and not everybody has the same, well, which is human nature, which is good, um, but confusing at the same time. Now, this video really is just a quick one to show you how to upscale uh, the easiest way using free software, Canva, and another app, online app, uh, which is already in my description. It's been in there for months and months. Uh, I like it. Um, so I'm going to show you that now. The thing is, there's a lot of apps, um, a lot of uh, apps that you pay for, um, a lot of commercial apps that will create an incredible image out of uh, information that really isn't there. But what I'm showing you here is we like free things, don't we? And I've got over to Canva here, as you can see. Now I'm going to create a new design, custom size, inches, and I'm going to go with 9 by 6. This process here um, allows us to put our old photographs in to, say, to upload to Amazon and to other apps that say no or reject your app because your image, because it's only... 72 dpi or 150 dpi and it wanted 200 so it'll put a little exclamation mark there to say your image quality isn't high enough and you don't want anything rejected like that and you may believe that that's the image you want that's that's the image that you're um insistent on getting it into your book so let's have a little go at this this image i captured i'll just enlarge it so you can see what it is now, I captured that image in Australia, in Broome, years and years ago. But I did it with an old camera, and it was 72 dpi, which is great for online stuff, great for ebooks and things like that. It's fabulous. But it's not so good for, for printing. Or I might get rejected for wanting to use it for printing. Properties, details, and on here we've got dimensions, 1975 by 1421 horizontal resolution 72 dpi right so we're going to change all that using canva and another app for best effect so if i close that and i drag that onto that six by nine i'll put a little bit of text on now what i want to do is i mean you can use there's online apps that you can use that are free to give you a little a little go um but i found that i'm getting a much better quality doing it this way and um, we we'll download it download it as a pdf print we use the flatten click that because i'll put some text on it and it's always good to just flatten your image before putting it into a into a pdf now i want this for print so it's cmyk best for professional printing I like to use that for my covers or for any important images that I really want detail in and, and, and vibrant colors. I download that. And oh, now you can see the size of that image there. You can see how it sits on that page. I'll download that and save it in a file. What we do is we go to PDF to JPEG.net. It's as simple as that PDF to JPEG.net. So you can go to any one of my videos on my channel. And by the way, when you see adverts popping up before or during my videos, I don't have a say in that. I'm not getting anything from that. I'm, my channel isn't monetized at this time. So any adverts that um, YouTube wants to throw up there, I can't do anything about it. Now, if you go to show more here under the name, in my description you will see resources and obviously no affiliations because I don't have any affiliations to share with you I, I don't want to go down that road um, so I'm not trying to make money from any of these links now in these links you'll find PDF to JPEG 
click on that and it'll open the app choose a PDF file the one I've just downloaded from Canva now I can change the quality here now it'll be saved as a JPEG that's fine 300 dpi and I'll convert the PDF to a JPEG download and there is my image now if you remember if you remember before the image was smaller much smaller and uh, on this page and now it's much bigger and there's a lot of reasons for that and I'll show you that now right here's the two images the original image that we used and if I click on that go to properties and details we can see here that it's 1975 by 1421 that's the dimensions at 72 dpi at a bit rate a bit depth of 24 if I open the one that we've just converted properties details the dimensions of this image is now 2700 by 1800 the horizontal resolution and vertical resolutions are 300 dpi that's a much better image for me to use in my applications and it shouldn't get rejected so that's a real easy way to to upscale and it costs you nothing because you can do it free on canva and free with the uh, the app online they say here we plant a tree for every 50,000 converted videos, uh, PDFs. That's nice, it's a nice little touch. But um, again, it's not costing you anything. They're not asking you for any money. You can donate to it if you want. But uh, yeah, so that's an idea, how to upscale and how to get past any blocks where your image isn't making it past the uh, inspection, if you like. So I hope that helps.